go. Soul Slick is a game that's kind of like Dark Souls. Maybe that means your character can roll around. Maybe you have to worry about a stamina bar. Or maybe big monsters just want to sit on you. Whatever it might be, I like to find Souls Likes that you probably haven't seen. So if that sounds interesting, this is episode 23 of Steam Dumpster Diving. Alright, first up we have the demo for VA Proxy. Souls Like might not be the best descriptor of this game, but it's got a dodge roll, it's got a parry, and it's by a solo developer, which means it's the exact type of game I love talking about in this series. Most importantly though, it got some attention a couple months ago after the developer posted this clip. If you think I'm not going to cover the game that lets you parry a nuke, you are incorrect. Let's check it out. Dude, this environment is fucking huge. Alright, I got, I got some equipment now. So, dodge roll, dodge roll into slide, double jump, glide, and then high jump. Okay, sick. Okay, attack, parry, and drone fire. Okay, attack. Uh, this is my parry. And that's drum fire. They're not fighting back though. <laughs> Alright, check this out. Boom, boom. Okay, we got some cool stuff. Uh, eat a heal and you can heal by parrying. Interesting. Oh, the drone fixes you, that's cool. Hello. Use the beacons to rest slash meditate. Bonfire? I'm guessing that's my objective. Yo, what are these things? Whoa. Wait, what's going on over there? What the hell is going on? This is sick. Okay, let's get the giant birds. One was flying off. I'll try to help, I guess. Maybe I can parry that thing spinning around. Oh, there we go. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, there they go. You're welcome, guys. In a very vague sense, this is like kind of reminding me of Rain World a little bit so far. Rain World is one of the coolest games ever, by the way. Alright, I guess let's keep heading this way. Giant robot. It's really interesting how big this environment is. Oh shit, okay. I have actual enemies now. Let's try the parry. 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 Ooh! Okay, try me. That's sick. There's kind of like a stiffness to the combat that I'm not a huge fan of at the moment. Yeah, basically like this attack just feels a little slower than I would expect and you get kind of locked into the animations, which isn't inherently a bad thing. It's just not what I expected from a game like this. All right, come here, man. <laughs> That's gonna make me laugh every time. Just something about that explosion effect. How did I do that? Wait, that's cool. Tower 122? Am I reading that right? Interesting, they're powering it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I should probably figure out how to get up. You guys, uh, shooting that thing? Okay. I think you got it. Blacksmith? Blacksmith. I just... I gotta see. <laughs> okay, I'm actually disappointed that didn't kill me. To climb to the top of that robot somehow. Oh, I just realized I can switch weapons. Hold on. I have like a whole extra move set. Wait, this is sick. Am I really just supposed to like double jump my way up there one floor at a time? That seems wrong, but also I don't know how else to get up. All right. This is so weird. Like it feels like I'm in an out of bounds area where I'm not supposed to be, but I think that's just what this game feels like. Oh, here we go. Okay. I activated something that was a really quick cutscene. Let's do another one. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's gonna come to life. Please come to life. Yes.
Oh fuck yeah. He's getting desperate. I love that design. <laughs> Damn, he was alive for five seconds and this dude walks up and he's like, nah. Alright, I'm jumping up this building. Wait, it's the guy. He's still here. Hello? Sen? Is that really you? You've never been one to sit idly. No second chances. Are we gonna fight? Oh shit. Okay, hold on, man. Yo! Why are we fighting? Why are we fighting, man? Oh, come on. Alright, here we go. Okay. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Dude, why is this so janky and awkward? What is happening? <laughs> I don't get it. I will parry this. <laughs> Am I not supposed to fight this guy? What the fuck is that move? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this fight, man? I'm losing my mind. Oh my god. Why are you doing this? No time to explain. <laughs> Dude, that took me so many tries, you don't understand. What the fuck was that fight? Oh shit, I get to fight this thing though? Uh... Oh shit. Yo. Yo! Oh. What do I do? Okay, hold on. It's the ghost I gotta hit. I see. Okay, run up the sword. There you go. Okay, that's extremely satisfying. Moments like that, the parry feels cool as fuck. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. What a spectacle. Oh, was I still playing? Holy shit, what? No, 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 no. Purge or exterminate? I guess that's the end. Oh, okay, we're exterminating. Demo ends. All right, before I finish, though, I wanna look around a bit more. All right, so one thing I figured out during those many boss attempts that I cut out is that there's actually weapon comboing. So normally left click is attack, right? And then right click is parry. But if you left click and then right click immediately after, there's special moves. And it's for both weapons too, like whole extra move sets that the game doesn't tell you about. And I just wanna say that's really cool, though it does make attacking into parrying awkward since you're using the parry button to execute these extra attacks. Yo, check out this guy. Hello. A guest and a saint at that. I'm truly delighted to have visitors after such a long time. Can you handle the E-unit perch nearby? They use travelers as target practice, and with no visitors, I'm concerned that my repairing skills might become rusty. E-unit perch nearby. Alright, I'll try to find it, I guess. Oh, maybe that's the E-unit shooting at me? There's all these extra areas that were like way off the beaten path for the demo. Alright, hello. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I gotta jump over that. I have practiced. I have been forged through the fire that was that boss. See, I wonder if I can parry that. Because the other thing I noticed about the last boss fight is that not every attack was parryable. And I had to kind of just trial and error it. So I'm curious if all of these are parryable. That was parryable, okay. He looks, so he drops the mines and then he detonates them with that attack. Almost got him. Woo. 
Gotcha. Okay, that was a cool fight, and every attack was actually pretty well telegraphed. One thing that my video might not do the best job of capturing because of how much editing I'm doing is just how big this world is. Like, just getting from point A to point B takes a while. It's pretty huge. So first and foremost, this game is just cool. It's an intriguing world that I was interested in learning more about and just running around in. There's this spectacle factor to all of the fights, and especially the boss fights, and it's just a unique experience that's all the more impressive for being made by a solo developer. Now, the combat is the meat of this game, and while it did grow on me as I got used to it and learned more of the intricacies of the combos and stuff, there is this stiffness and awkwardness that permeates the whole experience, especially on the boss fights where it's not clear which attacks are and aren't parryable, stuff isn't always telegraphed super well, and for as cool as it is, like I said, it's equally as awkward. And it's a shame that I feel like that, because when the game is working for me, it really works. But anyway, that aside, I'm still incredibly excited. I've seen more clips from the developer showing off stuff like a grappling hook and even more giant bosses. And I think the bones of this game are incredibly good. And as a reminder, in the full game, we're gonna end up parrying a nuke. And I think that sort of spectacle goes a long way into easing some of the friction of the combat. Quick addendum, the developer just tweeted out that you can now parry the floor to get an explosive jump. In other words, you can now parry gravity. This game's so fucking cool, man. Next up we have the demo for Strato Breaker. This is on itch.io, and the description reads that it's a 3D bullet hell souls-like, where you must master realistic reload mechanics and customize your weapon to survive. I think the idea of a 3D bullet hell plus a souls-like is a pretty cool combo, and I actually featured a very similar looking game a year and a half ago from the same developer. So yeah, let's check it out. Alright, here we are. Uh, WSD, and rotate the camera. Hello. Oh, I love that sound effect where you walk in a house and the rain becomes muffled. Hey, what's up? Oh, a new one. You'll be needing some bullets before you can use that thing. Should be some up ahead. Oh my god, I'm sorry. So it's right click to aim, and then left click to shoot. But I have no ammo. There's a guy on the roof. Can I get that? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess we know how that guy died. Uh, so I've also figured out I can dash around with the space bar. I got some bullets. Reload screen. Wait, reload screen? So down arrow to unload magazine, up arrow to load magazine, left click to fill magazine. Okay, let's fill. Alright, can I go in here? Holy fuck. I got it. Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Oh, my gun's... My gun's bugged. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how everyone ragdolls after getting hit, including you. I thought this was a bullet hell. So far, this is like tactical shooter game, you know? Oh wait, my locked on. Can I like, can I fire without aiming? Oh. Okay, that's nice. So here's the interesting thing about this game I just figured out. You can load in more than one bullet at a time, and it'll do increased damage. So normally this guy takes me two shots to kill, right? But I hit reload, and I hit reload again, put a second bullet in. Now I can kill him in one shot, because I was doing 2.4 times damage at the cost of two bullets. And I think you can do that as much as you want. Like, I could do all six bullets at once, technically. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's a cool idea. I want to experiment with that. Okay, wait, I gotta reload, like, mid-combat. Gotta pull up my thing. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. Man, having to open up your inventory to actually like put the bullets back in is nuts. Okay, let's try loading all my bullets at once. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh shit, that's awesome. So wait, how am I gonna reload though? How am I gonna reload? I need to like open my inventory, right? Uh. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it! Ow! Holy fuck, dude, how am I supposed to reload during this like and open up my inventory? Let's run over here, open up, put it in. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, one more, one more. Times eight. There we go. Foe routed. If you're reading this, you completed the only boss in the demo. 
there will be future updates, but in the meantime, thanks for playing. So yeah, not a whole lot to review so far, but I don't know, I find this pretty interesting. This game has a couple ideas I haven't seen before, and um, I don't know, there's some charm to this. I think Souls-like shooters can work incredibly well, and obviously this is no Remnant 2 by any means, but like, I like seeing ideas like this explored, so I hope the dev keeps it up. Alright, next up we got the demo for Sorceress. This is a first-person action game by a solo developer with a focus on emergent gameplay. So think Dark Messiah, Bioshock, that type of thing. Calling this a Souls-like is definitely a stretch, but it does technically have some Souls influence. On their Kickstarter, the developer mentions Demon Souls as one of the sources of inspiration. And when it comes to me looking for excuses to cover interesting games, that's good enough for me. Let's check it out. Oh, that's me. I'm waking up. Kick. Hell yeah. Alright, pick up the torch. Cool. Ooh, I can dual wield torches. Already, that's pretty sick. Eat apple. Mm. Hold barrel. So I can grab a barrel. Can I throw the barrel into the fire? Can I burn the barrel? Oh, wait. Yep, it caught fire. Alright, break. Break barrel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. You an enemy? Now listen, I'm gonna release you from your cell. And you're gonna be cool, right? Nope. Okay, you're not cool. Alright, he's got a sword. Oh! <laughs> I'm just gonna let him burn. Got him. Some different options here. There's like a great sword. That's interesting. Oh no, I just lit the weapon rack. Are the weapons gonna be okay? All right, whatever. So I'm just gonna let that burn in the background. So I can attack like that. Got like a block move. It glows yellow for a second. So my guess is maybe that's a parry. Got a charge attack. I can do different directions. There goes the weapon rack. And there you go. You can throw your weapon if you hold back. So walk backwards and then hold attack. That's really cool actually. Can already tell this is going to be a great time. Oh, my torch broke. Okay, so weapons can break. Good to know. Shift plus other direction equals dash. Oh, we got dodge. And then we stamina at the bottom. Gotcha. All right. Ooh, a spear. Oh. Huh? Huh? Can you wake up? I thought you were dead. I was like, I heard a noise. Wait, does that mean you're alive too? <laughs> he didn't wake up from that! Or maybe he's just dead. There's an enemy down there. I like how he's sitting right next to some spikes on the wall. Hey, man. There we go. Yep. Bring him back that classic Dark Messiah shit. Am I ever gonna get shoes, by the way? Or am I just gonna like look at my, my feet every time? Oh, hello. You, uh, doing good over there? Can you let me in? Let me in. Thank you. All right, let's just sneak up on this guy. I'm sorry, I know you let me in, but... Oh, I can steal his bow? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, let me just steal your bow and then shoot you in the back of the head with it. Does the bow have infinite ammo? Oh, well, it breaks eventually, so I guess that's the ammo. Enemies will drop their weapon if you kick them while they're down. I love kicking people while they're down. <laughs> Why did I say that? Here's the plan. I'm gonna throw my axe at him, and then while he's in shock from the axe throw, I'm gonna kick him. Wow, that actually worked. Kick him while they're down. Give me your weapon. I didn't even need it. I just wanted to take it. <laughs> this game is so sick, dude. Over here, little lady. Lovely day, isn't it? I was on my way to help you when I got captured. Should I rescue you? Uh, I mean, you do have a funny hat. Please put this hat on first or the weapon will be unable to function properly. Yes, I get the hat. Equip Mana Catalyzer. Capital. Now if you'd be so kind, kill this construct. 
Don't worry about me, I'm actually speaking through the hat. Oh shit, okay. Whoa, what is that? Bubble gun? This is a bubble gun. You can press the trigger to shoot a bubble that will make objects float, including yourself. Dude, how is this game just dropping this cool shit onto me, like, midway through the demo? Most other games would have led with this shit. Alright, let's, let's test out the bubble gun, so... Interesting. And you can spray it, too. Can I put out the fire? Yep. Do I want to get up? So let's bubble the crate. And then jump on. Interesting. Wait, how do I... How do I get out of here? Wait, I know! I bubble the barrel, and the barrel puts the lever up. That's so sick. I fucking love shit like that. Do I have to like jump on the bubble here? Bubble. Okay, I see. So when you enter the bubble, you kind of get like a boost up for a split second. So bubble, boom. We've escaped the tower. See ya. That was sick. Wait, is that not the end of the demo? Welcome to the first proper level of the game. Oh, we're still going. You have a few new tools in your arsenal, starting with an icy gauntlet in your left hand. Sorry, I really gotta test this out, man. All right, let's check out the ice gauntlet. So I can freeze guys. Holy shit. And then kick them around. Oh, they slip on the ground too. That's amazing. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love this game. I froze the bubble. That's incredible. Let's try holding the button. I summoned an axe. Ice axe, go. It freezes them. Hmm, some stew. Oh man. You're going in the stew. <laughs> oh man, this game was fucking made for me. Holy shit. Oh, little lady, is that you? Hello. Is that the keyblade? What the hell? Is that me? <laughs> I mean, maybe that's just a placeholder, I guess. That's funny. <laughs> it's so funny, like, these tools are like almost too powerful to the point where I don't need to use weapons, you know? Like, it's fun, but also there's no limit to it. Holy shit, he went high. Holy fuck. <laughs> How'd that happen? Wow, you actually landed on that. That's impressive. Holy shit, the physics! <laughs> Wait, that's actually so cool that can happen, though. You got a watering can as a weapon. Interesting. Well, I got some water too. Yeah. Is this hurting you? <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, he took my ice weapon. Oh, that's the combo. That's the ow. <laughs> that's the combo. Put him in the bubble, then kick him. Bubble and kick. That is fucking incredible. Ooh, big guy. Let me just stand in front of some spikes. Holy shit. Holy shit! <laughs> I mean, this works. Hey, I got your weapon, man. That's cool. I like how they just- they run and pick up other weapons from the environment. It reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild. Oh, hello. Talk to developer? Well, hello there! Congratulations, hold on, I'm burning. <laughs> Congratulations on making it this far. Very few people play for this long, so let me give you a sincere thank you. Hope you had fun. I did have fun, man. I really don't have much to say other than that was incredibly fun. This type of thing is absolutely my shit. Love all the emergent gameplay from the physics and the enemy interactions. The bubble plus freeze plus kick is genius. I just want them to keep cooking. And the fact that this was made by a solo developer is pretty crazy. Also, there was a Kickstarter, but by the time I played this game, it had already ended like almost a month ago. So it's been over for a while, unfortunately. I probably would have backed it, actually. This is a super easy game to recommend if you're a fan of Dark Messiah or anything adjacent to that. I'm wishing the dev nothing but the best. You got something really cool here.
All right, next up we got Fly Knight. This is a Kingsfield inspired game that was made in just two weeks for a game jam. And for those of you who don't know, Kingsfield was the series of games that FromSoft made that came before the Souls series, and they share a lot of similar DNA. And as a fun bonus, this was made by the same developer as the last game, Sorceress. Let's check it out. Awesome loading screen. So when I launched this game, it was called runescape.exe, and I'm starting to understand now. So I can attack. I got the runescape numbers. Uh, I can defend and I can kick. And we have like a little stamina bar at the top. So I also have a spear and like a long sword. Great sound effects. Awesome music. I'm into this. See, this is what video games are about. This is the real Kingsville experience. Just hitting a bug. Fuck yeah. Also, I like how in the top left corner you can just see your character and like how it actually corresponds to your actions, like you're looking up or down. Oh shit. Okay, we got a real challenge now. Back. Back, beast. Keep trying to parry me. Oh, there goes your shield. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, shit, you can chop off their arms? That's so cool. That's like Shadow Tower. Shadow Tower Abyss. Well, he can't attack me now. So, like, now what? All right. The whole chopping off the limbs thing is such a cool mechanic. I wish more games had that. Yo, bonfire lit. Very satisfying effect there. Oh, hello. Ow. Wait, can the enemy get hurt by that? He can. Oh, shit. Oh, there goes one of your arms. There goes another. <laughs> there goes another. See the limb chopping thing with four armed enemies? That's cool. Okay, damage types seem to matter. Like, these guys seem way weaker to slash damage, I'm noticing. Ow. There he goes. Continue? Yes. Yeah, so where I swing matters too, because he takes way less damage to his head, so I want to like, aim for the arms actively. Hello, plant. Ow. How do I heal? I think there's like a healing button. Oh, there we go. Alright. Dude, he has so much range. Okay, I think I gotta use the spear, though. There we go. Just, like, outrange him. Interesting. Okay, I actually like this. I like how each weapon has, like, its own niche. And I'm having to use all of them. That's an enemy. You can't fool me. I knew it. Stick man. Okay, let's use this for the shield. Okay, yeah, I knew it. That's really effective against the shield. And then we'll switch to the sword. Okay, so the sword's not very effective against the head, but I bet this is. There you go. Oh wow, I just decapitated him. Oh, he's still alive! But now he's just gonna swing at random, right? Because he can't see me? That's so fun. Oh. No! Oh god. Oh god, get up. Oh, fuck. Ooh, new enemy type. Roller. Yo, that's sick. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Okay, his arm. Ow. And there goes your arm, buddy. Oh, he can still punch. Okay, let's go... let's go spear. Nice. Dude, he's still kicking my ass! There we go. Oh my god. That was scary. Yeah, I'm just gonna poke your legs, so your shield can't help you. Yeah, that actually works. See, that's the type of thing I really like in games, is when there's like, you have different options. Like, I can take out the shield, or I can just poke his feet, or I can kick his shield, or, you know, swing above his shield. Like, those are all options, and I think that's really cool. Ooh. This looks like a boss. Hello? Hello. Okay, avoid that. Just run to the side. Maybe I can jump over it. <gasps> Fuck. Bubbles. Uh oh. Jump. Jump. Stamina management is actually an issue here because it comes back pretty slowly. And I'm needing to waste on like jumping and sprinting. Yes. Okay, good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Here we 
good, we're good, we're good. Jump in. I'm kicking ass. Alright, you gotta be getting low, man. There you go. That was really cool. Thank you for playing. This game was made in two weeks for Sewer Jam 3. Awesome. You know, for a game jam game, that was actually fucking sick. Really liked the music, loved how it looked, really like all the body specific stuff where you can like hit different parts for different damage, the limb chopping, all that. Yeah, you know it's a good game jam game when you wish it was like four times as long, you know? Awesome job. All right, next up we have First Hero Epic of Gilgamesh. As the title implies, I'm pretty sure this is a game where you run around and play as Gilgamesh. Despite being out for a year and a half at this point, this game only has three reviews, but it's got the Souls-like tag, and it looks at least kind of interesting. Let's check it out. I hope this game has voice acting. So, what brings you here? Hell yes. I too spoke words of content at your age, but remember... There's a fucking line. I've only seen war through your father's eyes. What will victory be worth when the fields are burnt and our homes are rubble? Water is all Kish people claim for. What are these obedience. faces? Then war shall be. Let us be ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I change the resolution of this game? Hold on. So, attack with my sword. Got this cool kick move. Can attack with my shield. Can block. Can dodge around like fucking crazy. Um, put on my armor, and I can jump, um, let's do it. Alright, um, I gotta kill the leaders of the vanguard. How do I get over there? Can I swim? I hope I can. Wow, we actually have swimming mechanics. Did not expect that. Ow. <laughs> oh god. Kill him. Holy shit, this kick move is awesome. <laughs> Can I heal? I don't think I have healing. Is it going for like slow motion? Is that what's happening? I think it's trying to do like a slow motion effect, but I'm not really feeling that. <laughs> That's the kill screen. All right, this might be difficult actually. Holy shit, what was that? <laughs> Wait. That's what happens when you press sprint in water. I just got the most insane nostalgia for Majora's Mask playing as the Zora. Oh, interesting. Okay, that was a combo. So that's like a different move. So light into heavy is a different attack than just heavy. Message from Ninsun. My son, I have less something for you. Hit the brazier and it will guide you. Okay. Ooh, laser beam. Okay. Holy shit. <gasps> Secret cave. ME assimilated. One skill point obtained. Sure. So when my adrenaline meter is full, which I think is the blue meter, hold action and press the defense button to regain all your health. Okay, also, I'm gonna use my skill point. This one sounds sick. When you are more than three meters above the ground, press the kick button to unleash a divine explosion on the way down. <laughs> that was it. Okay, let's use the heal move. It's uh, action plus defense. There we go. This is like jank as fuck, but this is weirdly compelling. Oh shit, you can chop their heads off. Acquired one spear. Is that something I can equip? Like, what is that? Let's try using the spear. Okay. Oh fuck. This is nuts. Go up, go up. Jump attack. I'm stuck in the corner. This feels so bad. Okay, little guy down, little guy down. There we go. Holy shit, this rolling is insane. Dude, these animations. I can't. I can't even beat the first enemy. I'm just gonna spam jump attacks. What on earth? Holy shit. No, man, I don't even know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. The running kick stunned him. 
That's the trick. Just keep doing running kicks. It's not the trick. It's not the trick. It's just at random, he'll just cancel out of his stun and hit you instantly. Like, holy shit. Okay, wait, there is a parry. If you just time your block, you can parry. I'm so close. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Holy shit. That genuinely took me like a dozen tries. All right, got a new weapon. Smasher. Okay, this is like a very fast paced game. The enemies are highly mobile. Look at my attack. I just completely stay in place. Like, I don't want to go ice skating forward, but I want to move forward a little bit, you know? What the f- What the fuck? <laughs> There's a super jump? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you hold down jump, you do a super jump. Okay, alright. Alright, let's give this game a real shot. Okay, don't worry, I'll super jump over to you, hold on. Okay, hold on, this game actually rules. You throw to enemies, summons help from the victims of the target. Okay, we'll try that. Go! Oh, it like stuns him. Interesting. It's like hands from the underworld stunning him. This game's getting good. Got him. Wait, there's actually like all these different movesets. Like, there's a unique moveset for the double axes. Alright, get the high ground. Dude. I mean, how can you hate a game like that? Holy shit, the damage. Oh, look at that. He's like a shield on a chain. That's sick. Dude, these axes are crazy. Man, let's test this out. Dude, this game has some like cool weapons. Oh, check out. There's like a combo move. Look at this. Okay. Oh my god. I'm like fully invested now. This is the funniest shit. <laughs> Alright, secret passage. Carry on. Wait, you can two-hand your weapon. Dude, they actually put in two-hand movesets. Did I just like catch his spear and throw it back? What the hell was that? Wait that- okay wait! If you block at the right moment, you catch it and throw it back. That's fucking inspired. This makes me so sad because like, obviously this is like a jank game. Had three reviews. Like, no one's gonna play this game, but like, there's some genuinely cool shit here. Dude, this game is fucking impossible. Like, what is this? How do I- how do I respond? Like, I'm really trying. I want to like this game. I really do want to like this game. Okay. This might be the way. Spamming running attacks with the greatsword. Holy fuck. If this is the right way, I swear to god. Wow. You- you actually can't see. How is that correct? Dude, what the fuck? I can't. I'm losing my mind. <gasps> oh. The collapse may have opened up new paths. Jumping on a vertical surface will allow you to climb quickly. What on earth? You're telling me this is intended? That's intended. Okay. If you perform a front kick immediately after a perfect defense, you can generate a divine explosion. That sounds pretty good. Let's try it. Okay. Dude, this is actually hard though. Like, I have to be timing this. See, are those just like insane fake outs? Or like, is the animation just bugging? I can't tell. <laughs> what? My spear just did a thousand damage for no reason. Why not? This is an insane experience. I'm cutting so much of this out in editing. Just understand that this level is so long and these fights are so drawn out. And I'm just, I'm just over it. Go man, go. Yeah, um, I think it's a good place to stop. Uh, I think I'm done.
Games like this make me sad because this is not a joke game. I can tell the developer was actually trying here and genuinely there's some cool shit hidden in this game, but it's underneath just an avalanche of awkwardness and jank and all these weird design decisions that make it borderline unplayable at times. And I wish I could have a version of this game that was like just the cool shit, you know? Or a version that ditched the Souls-like stuff entirely in favor of just power fantasy hack and slash. That could work really great. But this current version of the game is just bizarre. And unfortunately, I'm not surprised that no one has played it at all. But if the developer happens to watch this, I'm sorry I didn't make it farther into your game. I really wanted to, but I just... I just couldn't do it. It was too much. Alright, next up we got Kanagi Usagi. I got a few comments recommending I check this one out, and they said it's Anime Sekiro. Sure, why not? Alright, right bumper attack. If you continue to attack, the opponent will lose their balance. A fatal blow is triggered against the opponent who has lost his balance. Okay, this is literally Sekiro. Even the UI is pretty much Sekiro. Okay, yeah, this is just Sekiro. <laughs> One. Two. Got it. Continuous deflection greatly reduces the opponent's trunk. Um, their trunk, okay. Jump stomp. Low attacks cannot be parried or guarded, but they can be evaded by jumping. They literally just took every mechanic. <laughs> I mean, you know, why not? Whatever. They got the Makiri counter. Okay, yeah, I thought people were joking when they said Anime Girl Sekiro, but like, literally though. So yeah, I think this is the whole game. It looks like eight bosses. Alright, let's do uh, Nameless Warrior. Oh, hello. I don't really have a lot to say, this is literally just Sekiro. Down. Do they have the revive mechanic? They do, of course they do. Huzzah. Dude, I'm kind of... I'm kind of jamming to this music, though. Nice try, Cat General. Mm, she kind of, like, delays it a little awkwardly. Yeah. Ooh, that was a long string? Okay. Oh, that caught me off guard, okay. I'm ready for it this time. Yep. Nice. I love how that slide back is also literally from Sekiro. <laughs> That'll do it, yep. Another first try. Feeling good. Next up is Guard of Mist. What do you know? It's another anime girl. Okay. Ooh, backflip. Interesting. Oh, that was Makiri counter. Okay. The funny thing is, like, I don't even think I'm not good at Sekiro, but I'm feeling okay right now. Finally. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, this is literally the moveset from um, the corrupted monk fight in Sekiro. Yes. It's actually kind of crazy how well they mimic that. So yeah, I basically just got to play a Sekiro boss rush for half an hour, and surprise, surprise, that's pretty fun. On one hand, I think it's easy to look at a game like this and be like, this is stupid, this is dumb, they literally ripped the animations off Sekiro. But on the other hand, let's assume that they didn't actually rip anything, but instead just studied Sekiro very closely and made everything from scratch still. The fact that they were able to mimic Sekiro this closely and have it actually feel like the game is genuinely impressive. And within the context of this likely being a practice project for the developer, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm sure this was actually good practice for whatever game they want to make next. Impressive project. All right, next up we got Lego Fortnite. I had no intention of covering this game until I saw this tweet.
And so here I am thinking to myself, you know what? I think it'd be actually pretty fun to cover this in a video. And even though it doesn't make the criteria of a game you haven't heard of, I'm sure almost all of you have heard of it by this point. If I don't cover it here, I wouldn't cover it at all. So let's check out Lego Fortnite. All right, let's get going. We need three wood for a campfire. Bonfire lit. Holy shit, it is a souls like. So I can attack like this. Got this cool jump attack. And I can roll around. You know? Sure. Kinda of souls like. Oh, there's like little structures you can find. You can pick up stuff. You can throw stuff. There's physics! <laughs> Why am I so impressed? Wait, you can just break shit? I mean it is Legos, that makes sense, but like, that's really cool. This is so entertaining. Like, just throwing this crate at the wall? I'm actually so entertained by this. <laughs> it's like low frame rate. Hello, cow. Oh, you can pet the cow. Oh, thank you. More, please. Where's my milk? Where's my milk? Okay, I've kind of just been walking around ignoring everyone. I'm gonna head back to the group. See if they built anything. Yo, we got a shack now. Looking good. I want that. Give me the rock. <laughs> Give me the rock. Dude, stop! Give me the rock! Oh, fuck. Guys, it's really dark, and I, I wish I had a torch. The lighting is, like, really impressive, though. Oh, hello, skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have proper wind-ups, like... An action game with the dodge button should have. Man, this really is just like Valheim, but Fortnite, but Lego. Right, let's try building something just to like test it out. Oh, I have to manually place the parts. Oh, I see. Oh, that's fun. That's really cool. Yes, it's done. The Lego aspect of it actually adds like such a huge amount of charm for me. Oh, it's rolling. <laughs> oh, it does damage. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, chicken. Why did you let me pet you? Oh, shit. That's a real enemy. Um, crossbow? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hide here. Yo, what the hell? Dude, he's breaking the walls! Okay, that's so cool. All right, I've used 20 arrows and done like, oh, all right, there goes my crossbow. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, all right, I'm at one health. Oh, fuck. Oh, something exploded. That hurt him. They don't know. They don't know how strong he is. Oh, wait, they're doing it, they're doing it. Oh. Nope, they're not doing it. They're not doing it! Ooh, we almost got him, we almost got him! Jump attack! No! Yes! <laughs> Holy shit, what a boss fight. Big rock, big rock, big rock. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, what was that thing? Alright, there's a lot going on right now. God, I hope this works. The moment of truth, does this work? <laughs> does it work? It's stuck to the ground. Fuck. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, oh, it's stuck going. Dude, this is some fucking Tears of the Kingdom shit. Holy fuck, this is awesome. You probably don't need the Dark Souls YouTube guy to tell you that Lego Fortnite is good actually, but yeah, it's good. It's basically Valheim Light in terms of being a more casual experience and also just not having that much content in terms of progression and combat and that type of thing. But it's also very, very elevated by all the charm of the Legos themselves and the physics-based shenanigans you can do, at least for me. So while this probably isn't the type of game that I would spend more than a day or two with a group of friends on, I have no doubt that this game will explode, especially when you consider the fact that it's free. And by the time this video goes up, it'll probably have popped off. Cool game.
All right, next up we have the demo for Morbid, The Lords of Ire. So this is the sequel to Morbid the Seven Acolytes, which I featured, believe it or not, almost three years ago on my channel. Morbid the Seven Acolytes was a top-down pixel art take on the Souls-like genre, and the short version of my thoughts on that game were that I thought it looked really cool, but it had some fundamental flaws with its combat and level design, and I just didn't enjoy it very much, unfortunately. I think it's really cool that these devs stuck with it, and even though this change from 2D to 3D is a little disappointing, because I thought the previous game was really beautiful at times, I'm excited to see how the devs improved. Let's check it out. All right, so I can walk around. Uh, the A button is like a Bloodborne dodge, but the B button is a roll. Interesting to have two separate dodge buttons. Left bumper to block. Okay. I like how she's just blocking with her arm. When an enemy loses all posture, it becomes exhausted. You may then approach the enemy and perform a critical blow. All right, we got a posture system. A lot of games doing that these days. Posture's gone, and then critical blow. Okie dokie. When an enemy becomes enraged, it cannot be staggered with normal attacks. Perform a rage breaker right trigger to break through. Okay, so he's enraged right now. Okay, and then I just broke his rage because it's blue now. He's enraged again. Okay. That's kind of interesting. So whenever their posture bar is orange, you have to use strong attacks. Big fat grub. Just what I wanted. I like the animations on this guy, like especially the walkie animation. Where he's like stumbling around. That's fun to look at. Rust knuckles. Like the sneak animation. <laughs> that killed him? Just kicking him in the back of the leg. Wall blocking when an enemy hit is about to land on you. Press right bumper to perform a repost. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this in one. First try, come on. I still got it. I mean, this is kind of cool so far. You know, I appreciate that this game takes place in the North Pole. Oh, uh, we're doing the range thing. Okay. So that guy's going to shoot at me, but that guy's going to melee me. So I'm thinking I just want to run past. Holy shit. Okay, all right, that that's pretty cool. I'll give you that. Let's go this way. Am I getting like a trailer now? What is happening? I didn't finish the demo, did I? Oh, no, we're in a new area now. <laughs> I love the exclamation point. Sure. Slay the new acolytes. The five fallen lords of Isle, and rid the gahas of their flesh. This is eerily similar to the the plot of the new Lords of the Fallen game. <laughs> so I guess I'm in like a hub area now, which is cool. Dude, what the hell happened to Nigel Thornberry? Greetings, Striver! My name is Professor Maximus Obesius. Are we really doing this? Oh, so? I want you to have my trusty Spectre Blaster. Since retiring, I've been using it mainly as a back scratcher. Okay. Use the Spectre Blaster to interrupt attacks and cut down enemy posture. Spectre Blaster holds a single slug. Reload the gun by slaying an enemy. Hold left trigger to cock the gun and press right trigger to fire. All right, let's shoot. That hit everyone, what the hell? <laughs> what is this gun? Dude, this Spectre Blaster kicks ass. You know, maybe we could tone down the motion blur just a little bit. Oh, that is an awkward animation. Hmm. So yeah, I know this is a demo, but already I think enemy variety is a little concerning. But I guess we'll see. With runes, you can manipulate the core attributes of melee weapons. Okay, like... What does this mean though? What does speed 6 mean? What does agility minus 3 mean? The concept of equipping something that gives you a buff and a debuff at the same time, totally fine. I don't think it should be done like this where A, it's not really clear what's happening, and B, it's so minor. Like, damage minus 3%, who gives a shit, you know? Make it something I actually notice. This level of enemy variety is actually like, aggressively bad, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I just, I think I'm done even fighting. Oh, never mind, I have to fight. There's a wall. Okay. Dude, how are we still getting the same enemies? I'm in a new area now. 
I'm in a new area and we're still getting the same two enemies. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, hello. You're not looking so hot. Please, you, help me. <laughs> okay. They ain't my face and not my legs to the bone. Yeah. I'll make my way to Hall of Redemption once I've rested a bit. Come see me there. How? How exactly are you going to make your way to the Hall of Redemption with no legs? Oh, here we go. This looks like a boss. Okay, maybe this boss is really interesting. Alright, alright. It's like a cool looking shield. Alright, Mario. Bring it. Okay, so he swipes. He swipes. Surely he has more attacks than that. What? He's just blocking everything I do. I'm so confused right now. He's orange, so I'm doing the heavy attack like I'm supposed to. Is there something else in the arena I'm missing? Like... I don't think I am. Do I have to parry? Wow, that was actually the answer. That's so weird. Okay, almost got him. There we go. Phase two? Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, no, I don't like those animations. Way too jerky and quick. Okay, all right, all right. Gotta do phase one again. Fire the gun. Nice. Dodge that. Dodge that. Heavy attack. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> the way my character's body was just stiff the whole time. Die. Die. Please die. Now what? Now what? Okay, you're spitting up poison. Great. Oh my god. <sighs> I didn't like that very much. Alright, I'm re-recording this because my initial review was like two minutes straight of me being overly negative without being constructive. And that's not what I want to do here. It's just not. So first things first, within the context of all the games I've reviewed in this series, this one doesn't seem that bad. Like, I've played some really jank games, and this one is not that. It's not jank. Like, it's very functional. They got the fundamentals down. It even has its moments, you know? But this demo also failed to interest me. Though keep in mind, I might be more picky than the audience they're going for. I like Souls Likes that put their own twist on the genre and do some like really novel things. And this one didn't communicate that to me, if they have that. And then if you pair that with my issues with the enemy variety, boss design, and change in art direction, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. But I still think they did a good job and my thoughts might change in the future. So I'm wishing the devs the best of luck. And I've even typed up a few extra thoughts if they care to read them. Good luck, guys. All right, next up we got Leica Age Through Blood. The developers are marketing this as the first Motorvania, which basically means that it's a Metroidvania, but you're on a motorbike. I actually found this game after I got a few comments recommending I check it out for this series. And after looking at it, yeah, I agree. This does stretch the term Souls-like to the extreme, but that's like my thing at this point. I love doing that. Let's check it out. This already looks so good. where all was lost. Mommy? Mommy? Puppy, don't cry. What's? The birds crucified Cousin Poochie with his own guts. Oh, Jesus. Accelerate with left trigger. Okie dokie. Holy fuck. Balance with left stick. 
I'll show you balance. Yeah, that's how you fucking balance. I've played Trials HD, okay? I'm a Trials veteran. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just found Poochie. Hold X to drift and change the direction of your bike. Alright, got it. Cool. Press Y to interact with the Bone Memorial. You will reappear here after you die. Bonfire lit. Nice. Ooh. Let's drift. Cool, cool. Oh. Fuck. Okay, you just instantly died. Goddamn. You can block bullets with your bike. Alright, good to know, I guess. Okay, interesting. Why would I do a backflip there? <laughs> Ugh, I'm so dumb. Press X when an enemy bullet is just about to hit you to reflect it. Oh. That's fucking sick. Do a 360 front flip to recharge your ability to reflect bullets. Alright, I get it now. This game's rad. Also, look at me, I'm covered in blood. Fuck. I dropped my souls. 360. Okay, recharged it. Blocked it. And I picked up my blood stain, I think. Uh, is there a reverse button? Okay. Oh, fuck. Let's go. I want you to die at home. They've built a war machine. Like a hundred hungry beaks. It'll kill our people like a... Where is it? All the way down. You may want to give me something back. And turn your walkie on, for fuck's sake. Damn. Aim with right stick, shoot with right trigger. Alright, now we're cooking. Hold the right trigger to enter bullet time. Fuck yeah. See up. Do a 360 backwards to reload your weapon. There we go. What a smart fucking game. Oh, I gotta reload. Alright. I'm reloaded. Fucking die. This game is just a genius. Shoot chests and minerals to get crafting materials. Good. <laughs> I don't think gathering materials in the game has ever been that stylish, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh. Holy shit, I'm a gamer. Alright, here we go. Holy fuck! Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool though. It's like a ramp that pushes. Oh god. Okay, alright. So shoot, shoot, then block. Alright, cool. Alright, almost got him. Gotcha. Holy shit. This game is so fucking cool, man. I think I'm gonna keep playing on my own, and then I will get back to you after I finished it. Let's just cut to the chase. Leica is one of the best indie games I've played all year, and I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful and heartbreaking experience wrapped within an adrenaline-pumping gore fest as you take on the role of a badass, gun-wielding, motorbike-riding mother coyote trying to protect her daughter. These developers have created something truly special and original, and even though we all know I'm really, really stretching the term Souls-like here to its limit, I'm gonna talk about it. So I said I really enjoyed it, but don't go running off to play it right away. I still have some critiques and hangups with the game, and I don't think everyone will necessarily like this as much as I did. Depending on your patience and taste in games, you just might not find this game fun at all. I introduced this game as a metroidvania on a motorbike, but the better descriptor would be a metroidvania on a motorbike meets Katana Zero. And that last part is really key. The game revolves around you approaching each fight as a puzzle, where you use your time slow abilities, reaction speed, and decision making to make it out of each encounter alive. Which enemy should I take out first? Can I block this bullet with my bike? Do I have time to reload? Is the body of the enemy I just killed gonna get in the way of the next shot I wanna take? These are questions you're always asking yourself. There's a lot of trial and error in this process, especially when you consider that you're just as likely to die from wiping out on your bike as you are from getting shot with a bullet. Some sections are especially brutal, with the smallest mistake resulting in death. When I finished the game after a dozen hours, I had died 374 times, and I honestly think that might be on the lower end. If you get frustrated or discouraged easily, stay away. But man, what a cool gameplay hook. 
exploring around on your bike, doing backflips to reload your guns, and parrying bullets back at enemies. There's some inspired stuff here. And after the intro, you get to do all this while listening to a really cool soundtrack by Artist Piccoli. This type of music plays for the entire game, and while I wish there was a bit more variety, the soundtrack helped provide a memorable experience when paired with the violent gameplay or the occasional quiet moment while riding around. On that same note, you'll get calls from your daughter over the radio sometimes, and these casual conversations happening while you're exploding enemies with your guns creates a dissonance that's also quite memorable. But yeah, aside from combat, this game sees you riding around each corner of the map and completing objectives for the people in your town. You're cursed, and with this curse comes the ability to revive after dying. As such, you're the one person who can fight back and potentially stop the Bird Empire from wiping everyone out. I don't want to go into details for spoiler reasons, but the story and characters are pretty engaging and cut above most games for the genre, while also going to some dark and mature places. This all exists within a thoughtfully designed world, with level design that pushes the concept of motorbike bullet time to its limit. As you progress, there's a steady increase in difficulty as the terrain gets more hazardous alongside more lethal enemies. There are also little secrets to find here and there, and over the course of the game, you get a couple new movement abilities to get around, like a shotgun with a blast that can propel you upwards and act as a double jump. Quality stuff. It all blends together pretty well, and while there are some lows, the highs are quite high. Let's talk critiques and polarizing aspects of the game though. First of all, and this is an observation, not a critique, I think some people simply won't like how this game controls. If you skim through the negative reviews, this is the number one point that stands out. As I said earlier, a lot of your deaths will come from wiping out on your bike. It can be tough splitting your focus between managing your bike's balance and shooting enemies as you find yourself shifting your weight back and forth with the left stick while aiming with the right stick. It's tricky and punishing, and there's a learning curve for sure. Even when there aren't enemies, riding around requires a certain degree of patience and finesse. Like, there's a mechanic where you need to maintain a wheelie to ride across ropes, and if your angle is off, you're dead. Pair that with the risk of losing your money when you die with a death mechanic akin to a Dark Souls bloodstain, and it can be a lot. Not everyone's going to find this fun. On that same note, the bosses can be incredibly frustrating. As I mentioned earlier, combat encounters are designed around trial and error, and that can be fine when the runback isn't too far and there's not too much you need to repeat, but some of these boss fights are several minutes long. If you mess up, and you will mess up, it's back to square one. To be clear, these aren't terrible by any means, and I managed to find the fun in these encounters, but there definitely was still more friction and frustration than the rest of the game. And I can easily see someone who's less skilled at the game having all the joy and fun sapped out of them as they get stuck on a boss. There are similarly tough enemy encounters in the overworld, and I think they strike a better balance on difficulty and punishment because there's usually a checkpoint nearby. Lastly, my biggest personal hang up with Leica lies with its execution of backtracking and side quests. Throughout the game, you'll repeatedly be asked to return to old areas, usually in the form of a fetch quest. These are the weakest parts of the game, since most of the time, you'll literally just be repeating content. To help paint a picture, this isn't the type of backtracking where you're dashing around and running past everything. No, you need to kill every enemy you come across while riding a difficult to control bike, and any mistake sends you back. Fortunately, this type of backtracking only represents a relatively small portion of the game, but it stood out to me as being a poor fit for the gameplay loop and edged into tedious territory a few times. I think if they had simply added a few more fast travel points, it would have felt a lot better. All that being said, and I know I sounded pretty negative just now, keep in mind that I still love the game. The art, music, story, gameplay, and just novelty factor of everything blend together into a fun and unique package that's going to stick with me. I really value fresh experiences from games these days, and this was one of them. If you think doing flips on your bike while shooting dudes in slow motion sounds fun, and you have the patience to deal with the stuff I mentioned, give like a shot. Hey, if you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching. Just gonna take a minute to talk about the new t-shirt and hoodie. So first of all, huge shout out to Grillhouse for designing this. Go follow him. He has some really cool art. I discovered him through his Bloodborne and Elden Ring art pieces. Just really cool stuff. So I came to him and I was like, okay, night on a skateboard, drinking an Estes flask. Can we turn this into something cool? And he absolutely did. I like the details of the change in wardrobe with the sleeves being cut off and like the new shoes and the shoelaces. It's just really fucking cool. Also, big shout out to Googly Gareth for animating the intro as well. So the t-shirt design was done first, but I thought it'd be fun to work backwards and come up with a reason for that art to exist, like a backstory. Was all this effort necessary and worth it? Probably not. You know, it's... It's a t-shirt, but I think it's really fun and I enjoyed the process, so it's all good. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Please give me some more game recommendations and take it easy.